Hi, Carolyn. I think your name's Carolyn. Uh, my name's Earl. And uh, I made a video recently that when it had suggested videos, uh, your video came up, I think based on the title, um, about uh, rude people. And you're asking, uh, you know, what's the deal with those rude people? Why are they so incredibly rude? Uh, and uh, I have the misfortune to deal with uh, a huge amount of rude people on a daily basis. Um, and I've been doing it for years, and at first I just thought, yeah, gosh, why are so people so rude? But then as the years went on, I started hearing uh, common dialogue. So if they're, being ca if, they're, if they're being casually rude, it would just kind of be a wide variety of, uh, of behaviors, depending on who the person was. But if everybody's being rude in the exact same way, then I'm thinking it's a kind of... Uh, a stylized learned behavior and so when I started thinking about it like that like what if this isn't actually a rude person but this person is using rudeness like a tool and I thought why why what why would you need to be rude um, and I was I started coming up with reasons like uh, they might be uncomfortable with the situation they're in and rudeness is a way to uh, you know to have a bold front um, Put the other person off guard uh, to make sure you don't get in, end up in some sort of like uh, you know you give the person you're dealing with like a superior uh, position somehow if you're kind of like cautious and kind and you're like I'm not really sure if I'm doing this right or um, I'm not really sure if I'm prepared for this uh, and then the other person's like well you're doing it wrong and I know all about it so instead they come in rudely and start demanding things and then just kind of deal with the, the confusion after that, but at least they start off and kind of like, you know, don't mess with me. Um, I'm kind of rude, and this will just get worse if you don't cooperate. Um, and then, but they're, they're directed at somebody who's kind and cooperative and helpful. But that's a thing, like, they're, they're doing it in case, they're, they're being rude to me in case I'm not a nice guy. And, uh, Every once in a while, uh, very, and very rarely, uh, does one of the rude people drop this incredible rude act and just act like a regular person. Uh, they're like, oh, this guy seems just like me, you know, just kind of mellow and, you know, not, not overly anything. Like, I'm not, I'm not, an, I, don't, I don't want people to feel bad. And so, like, you know, when I'm helping them, I, I try to help them. Um, so... So I, what I guess my point is, I think, uh, Carolyn, it's an act. Um, and I notice, I notice a lot of people, sometimes I can see right through why someone's being rude. Um, sometimes they don't have, not only, like, not only do they don't have a very thorough understanding of what's going on, um, but English might not be their, uh, their primary language. Um, and so they have like a few things that they say, like, you know, you go, this, you go do this for me. And then they, then they pretend to be looking at their cell phone or they, they, they talk to somebody else. Uh, so essentially they don't know they don't know the full system. They don't know the words for a lot of things. And if they just, a lot, and a lot of times this works, if they just refuse to cooperate with questions, they act too busy, a lot of times like if you get a general sense of what somebody wants and the general sense is what they give you, um, you can kind of put together what they're looking for and then they pay for it and they leave, all without actually ever asking for what they just bought. Um, so I think the rudeness is a way to keep you from interacting with them too much. Then you find, then you might expose either their ignorance, or they might they might feel embarrassed that they don't have, uh, uh, you know, they're not proficient in the English language, for instance. Um, there's one other form of rudeness. Oh, I know what it was. Um, this guy was just terribly rude to me. And, uh, like, just over-the-top rude. And uh, then while I was, uh, when I'd finally, like, uh, you know, stepped away to go deal w with what he wanted, um, I could hear him uh, talking in the other room on his cell phone. And he was talking to his wife, and he was trying to explain why he wasn't spending the night uh, in his daughter's college town. 
and he was and he kept saying things like, "Oh, I, you know, I just thought I'd come back." You know, he he was avoiding answering the question, and he avoided it and avoided it and avoided it, and his wife wouldn't let up. And finally, he just admitted that he and his daughter had an argument, and she didn't want him to spend the night. Like, so he drove all the way down there to visit her. They immediately had a fight, and uh, she said, "Go ahead and uh, go ahead and leave." And so his uh, his two day weekend ended up being. Uh, uh, a, a full day's drive for a 15 minute argument and uh, so I realized his rudeness to me was a way to cover up for the huge amount of emotions that he was feeling um, feeling terrible and uh, his, his, not, his avoiding his wife's questions was the exact same thing trying to avoid how he was feeling so he was rude to me and evasive to her so, so I'm thinking actually that the vast majority of the rudeness that you and I uh, and everybody encounter are uh, is a facade a facade to protect something, you know, uh, strong emotions, ignorance, um, confusion, um, a, f a feeling that uh, that they're not in control or in charge, and so they cover up for all those things with a facade of, uh, you know, a fake rudeness. Um, and once I kind of came to that conclusion, um, it took away the kind of the personal sting of the nature of it. And uh, I just kind of do my business. I kind of do what I need to do. I take what they say as just as much information as I could get. I try to help them the best I can, and then uh, I get on with my day. Um, and so sometimes when I think, you know, people are rude, um, I used to be able to name, like, all the examples of yesterday. Um, and now I could, I could name you, like, some terrible examples this year, but not of every day because uh, it just stops being important. So hopefully that'll help you. Hopefully that uh, when you realize that rude, being, people being rude to you actually says more about them than you, and it isn't really important in your life, other than the fact that you know. I, and I doubt you'll ever lose your uh, your kindness, but you'll know, uh, you know how terrible it is to be rude to people, even when you're upset, or even when you feel that uh, you know you're, you're embarrassed at your lack of knowledge at a certain thing. Like you're not going to fall behind a, a fake rudeness to try to protect yourself. You'll just be uh, honest and kind. All right, Carolyn, well, it was nice to meet you, uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the tubes.